All right, what's happening? We're looking at a new Wii knife today. This is the 810C Yucha or Yuka. I'm not sure if it's Yucha or Yuka on that one, but this is one of the new knives from Wii uh, that just came out, and they have new packaging. So some of the Kaiser, they've gone into some new packaging, which is nice. You do have your typical pouch they come in, and I like these pouches. You can fit two knives in here and carry them. Here we have knife company literature, literature, and a clean cloth. All right, so this is the Yuka, or Yucha, whatever we're going to call it. We're just going to call it the model number, which is the 810, 810C, meaning that this one has the gold anodized handle. There is um, regular, like a just a regular titanium gold. I think there's just the two, actually. I don't know if there's any blue. There's, it looks like there's black as well. Oh, blue titanium. So there's blue, gold... And then you have different colors. You can do a coated, there's a DLC coated blade or just the stone washing here. So, so a very cool looking knife from Wii, uh, larger than I typically carry, but this is on a pass around. So I said, yeah, I'll take a look at it. I've, I've I always like looking at Wii's um, knives because I think they're just great designs, high quality, etc. So let's go over the basic specs on this guy first. You have an 8.7 inch overall length with a blade length of 3.9 inches. A cutting length of 3.5 due to this generous choil here. Uh, CPMS 35 steel, 0.16 blade thickness in the blade stock. You're looking at a harpoon style blade um, with a very interesting grind on this. It's got a very compound grind. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. It's flat ground, but you've got like a on, up here on the harpoon. You've got a grind here as well as a grind here towards the back, and then you have your choil here which is functional as a finger choil, not just a sharpening choil. So an interesting, uh, pretty complex grind on this one. Stone wash finish on the blade, and you have a handle length of 4.7 inches, a width of 1.25 inches. I don't think that's right. As far as that, they have listed on the specs, let's take a look. Maybe because of the carbon fiber. Oh my gosh. I think people are dying at my house right now. Oh, they're, oh, duh, I forget. They're doing this measurement, my bad. So that sounds about right. They're doing like the width of the knife closed. Okay, my freaking calipers are just having some serious issues and I think I need a battery. Yeah, 1.3, that makes sense, okay. Yeah, your thickness is, is over a half an inch but it's because of these big, thick carbon fiber inlays. So you're at 0.59 at the widest point. Up here, it's less than a half an inch. You have a um, weight of 4.38 ounces. So pretty lightweight for its size, for being such a big knife. And you have right hand tip up carry only on this guy. No switching on the clip there. It is listed as a liner lock because of these carbon fiber uh, overlays here. So. This is not Torx. This is Torx hardware, not the proprietary Star. I don't think they're going away from that completely, which is great. So what you have here is a flipper on ceramic bearings with a ceramic detent, ultra smooth action, big heavy blade, so it's got a great detent. Beautiful carbon fiber overlays over the gold type anodized titanium. You have the gold anodized um, backspacer, nice pocket clip. Let's do a shot in the pocket with my. Cut off jeans. <laughs> Work well for these shots, right? All right, there you go. So not deep carry, but not um, not a lot sticking up. A good size right there. This is a pretty large knife, so the deep carry clip would have helped, but they don't look as good for sure. These the mill titanium clips that we does are really good, attractive looking. Let's do some size comparisons. Uh, getting some of my bigger knives out. I don't have a lot of bigger knives anymore. The uh, Booze Blade Smoke. Let's do it on this because it's not sitting right on the clip. There we go. So let's go butt to butt there. So the Yika is definitely a, diff a bigger knife. The ZT0095, customized by Fanatic Edge and the Mandalorian. Boba Fett theme here. Super duper freaking sharp blade on this one. S90, so that's a, a similar size handle, but you got a lot more blades. So the blade to handle ratio on this Wii is pretty impressive. And then the Tangram progression 
budget folder. They pivot, pivot. They're freaking out. They're playing Mario, and so they're being super loud. Hopefully, you can't hear that on the video. Got one of those Nintendo classics recently. <laughs> it's been pretty fun. All right, so there's some size comparisons, some different folders um, that are common. Not super common, but the, the smoke is the one that's been on my EDC rotation for a long time, as well as this customized ZT. I love that ZT model. So this is not, like I said, this is part of a pass around. It's actually the first one to get this in the pass around. There was two knives sent out, I think two different colors. And um, let's talk about the deployment of the knife. You have your flipper tab here. Nice jimping there on the flipper tab. The flipping action is fantastic. The D10 is about perfect. You can use the opening hole for your thumb, but not. Gotta back this out a little bit because if it's cannot get it for the uh, middle finger flick, I can't get that to work. I think the D10 is too strong for that. Um, centering is absolutely perfect out of the box. So typical quality of Wii knives. They are just super high quality knives for the money. 253 bucks is the price point on this. With this size of blade, with this nice carbon fiber and a titanium and S35, it's very reasonable. Very reasonable price on that one. Super nice action on that one. Let's go ahead and do some uh, blade stock measurements here. We've got 0.14 five inches thick on the blade stock and let's try this front grind here 0.33 behind 0.033 behind the edge so not very thin at all let's try back here i think it looks even thicker back here 0 0.05 0.045 excuse me yeah so pretty thick behind the edge um and it doesn't have terribly thick blades, so I mean, it's not thinnest either. Uh, handle ergonomics are really good on this guy. It is a pretty good size handle, almost 4.8 4 inches. So if you have large hands, this is a great knife for you. For me, it's just a little bigger. I can definitely handle this style of knife in this size, but it's a little bigger than I like to carry uh, um, on a daily basis. So, But great ergonomics, very comfortable in the hand. Got some jimping up here on the thumb ramp that works really well. This harpoon blade shape is sick. Love it. it. Just looks so nasty. I put a picture of this or a video on Instagram when I first got it, and one of my followers said it looks like the Predator's EDC, <laughs> which I could see that. Looks like just some just nasty looking bad a knife. So very cool blade shape on this guy. So gotta love Wee's style. They're uh, I like what they've been doing lately. They've been doing a lot of practical, more EDC friendly knives. Then they do a piece like this. You know, they they were just very have a great variety in their um, in their lineup of, of knives right now. So, plus they're making knives for so many people. I mean, this this right here is the Blues Blade Smoke is made by Wii Knives. You have all the Mass Drop, um, Fair and Forge offerings, and the new Gavco collaboration. I mean, they're pretty much just dominating right now in the knife industry. So, but I like a lot of their original designs like this. This is, I think this is an original design. I don't believe this is a collaboration with anyone. Let's see. I can find that out. Yep, I don't think it's a uh, any kind of collaboration with any custom knife maker, so just an in-house design. So that's kind of a first impressions video on this knife. Um, I think it's, like I said, for me, if you like a large knife, I think this is fantastic. It's a little big for me, but I like the I like the design here on the I like the eye hole that they use, kind of like that eagle eye almost. They've got the sweet harpoon grind going on with the compound grind here. Nice stone washing on the blade. Just overall a very cool looking knife, absolutely. And if you like to carry a bigger knife, um, it would carry pretty good. It's not overly thick or anything, and it, it's very comfortable in the hand. So if, if the, a large cell knife is something that you like i would definitely uh, take a hard look at this one so 253 bucks on blade hq a few different dealers i think it's a pretty good pretty good offering from we knives i like it a lot thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one